guys welcome back to the another amazing tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna talk everything that you need to understand and know about Android Studio from start to the end okay so so I'm gonna teach you from the beginning that is like from the installation level to the using the advanced level like until you uh, use the Android Studio to create your application so I'm just um, starting I'm creating this tutorial to make you understand about Android Studio from zero level to the advanced level okay so everything i will be trying to cover you in this tutorial okay so what is android studio android studio is a tool to create android application it is based on intellij platform and uh, ide that is an integrated development environment by jetbrains that provide powerful tools to create android applications so what do you need to do go to this link and download your android studio okay so the latest version of android studio uh, so you can just click here download Android studio iguana Okay, so obviously when you click here you have your download Android studio iguana uh, You have this patch 2 version you just need to uh, like go through all these um, uh, Terms and conditions you just need to uh, Click this and then uh, install your Android studio based on your um, your tool that you have like for example I'm using uh, Mac so obviously I'm gonna download it for Mac but you, if you have Windows or, uh, or Linux you can just download the um, the necessary uh, required versions okay so I have already downloaded it, so I will not do that then uh, after that uh, let's go to the instruction so let's go to Android studio editor then you have a uh, to go to this link like install Android Studio. Then here you have uh, all this uh, documentation about how to install Android Studio. Like uh, you uh, based on your operating system, you can choose Windows or Mac or Linux. Okay, so it's all uh, on base of your requirement. So uh, I'm using Mac, so I'm going to use and follow this technique. So and launch and um, uh launch my uh, like i am going to install my android studio so i have already my android studio being installed so this is my android studio uh, so it's just uh, i'm going to show you my android studio this is my android studio that is android studio hedgehog uh 2023.1.1 patch 2 okay so it's a uh, built-in on january 19 2024 it's the latest version okay so that's it so after you have installed your android studio then you just need to uh, you will have a welcome screen and where you just need to go and uh, create a new project okay so whenever you create a new project you have this uh, uh, screen here um, okay and uh, the first thing I will suggest you guys uh, before doing anything just go to your settings and then uh, in your settings you have your uh, let me see let me see appearance the new uh, UI just enable your new UI okay so then just need to click this button and click OK apply okay yeah just do to do that and uh, 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 as you can see here it requires restart so it will restart your application and then you will have a, a um, completely new UI okay for your Android studio okay so now uh, let's create our new Android studio project file new and uh, new project okay so then you have this screen you just need to go uh, create an empty activity let's click next you just need to create your your app name okay so this is your package name uh, in this domain name format so it's, it will be stored in this location you have a minimum SDK you can just choose the, your minimum SDK um, and then uh, I, I will just leave it as default uh, it is covering 96.3% uh, of devices in the entire world so you have a built configuration uh, language that is a Kotlin DSL okay that is the recommended one I'm using the recommended one and then just need to click finish okay then after you click finish you will have a entirely new applications uh, being uh, created uh, and that's it guys you just need to uh, um, just uh, run your application and this is my applications that uh, will be run okay so now the second interesting thing that you have to understand is how do you create your virtual device okay that's uh, the virtual device that you are gonna run in so to create your virtual device uh, what you're gonna do is just go to your device manager 
click uh, on uh, here create a virtual device here and then you just need to select your necessary you can just uh, uh, choose on device category like phone tablet Wear OS the desktop TV automation legacy or I'm just choosing a phone and you just can choose uh, a necessary uh, device uh, here uh, the name of the device uh, the Play Store here like you know this icons uh, means, uh, means that there is a Play Store okay um, and then uh, the size uh, resolution density you know everything is here just you need to create your uh, device like uh, for example let me go and this this one um, next and there is also some um, you know, for example I have a tiramisu 33 API level 30 but there is upside down cake which I still haven't downloaded as you can see as I have this icon like to download it so you just need if you want the latest one you just need can download this and use it but I have the already downloaded the older version I have is uh, the latest version uh, the the most latest version that I have used is 33 but there are some other latest version here right the latest releases here and yeah just select your um, uh, necessary system image then go to uh, next uh, and just uh, uh, like your orientation select your graphics you know device frame enable your device frame and like you know just you can rename your uh, Android virtual device name you know as your as per your choices I already have it so I will not create it but this is you you just need to click finish and your uh, Android virtual device will be created here okay so yeah that's it guys this is a simple step on how to create Android virtual device then you can set up your android device okay so uh, also you can set up your android device uh, physical devices uh, which is pretty simple uh, i can just show it uh, uh, you just need to uh, go to your uh, settings where is my settings yeah uh, find build number uh navigate to systems uh, section display and about phone uh, okay it should be something like your about phone okay then you need to tap on the build number uh, this one you need to just tap it you okay you are already a developer so you don't need to but if you are not a developer you just need to tap it for seven times then you will be uh, just updated as a developer okay uh, uh, Mm. and then uh, that's it seven times okay you will see on screen prompts indicating how many uh, so uh, also here you will be um, just in your physical device okay so that's it and then uh, just need to go to your uh, physical device and um, you can just uh, go to uh, let me check out uh, uh, I am I okay uh, system where is my system uh, system yeah yeah your developer op options is being uh, enabled here so you just need to uh, click that okay use developer options so you have a develop, uh, different developer options here like you can just uh, you do the uh, USB debugging uh, USB debugging where is it yeah USB debugging has been en enabled right so you can just verify do this everything in your physical device okay uh, to set up your uh, Android uh, physical device so then obviously to run it you just need to uh, uh, click uh, like uh, add your configuration to your um, application and then just run it here okay it's pretty simple and you will be running your application there okay so now finally what is some uh, about some tips is like there is a powerful feature in Android Studio that will specifically designed for Jetpack Compose products it allow, allow you to see changes for your um, that you make to your code 
reflected in a real time on a connected Android device or emulator. Okay, so this significantly speeds up the development process for building user interfaces. So, um, uh, what Live Edit offers is like it will offer you instant updates as you modify your compose code. Live Edit automatically pushes those uh, changes to running app. No more watching for fruit uh, like you don't need to mm, wait for full app uh, reveals right and there is also real-time views you can immediately see the impact of your code edits on ui layouts color text and other visual elements you can focus on writing code uh, elements uh, live edit eliminates the need to constant switching between writing code building the app and deploying it to the device so this lets you stay in the code flow and iterate on your ui design more faster okay and to enable the live edit you just need to go to your settings and um, you have a editor uh, then you have a live edit okay just you need to click uh, live edit and just select push edit automatically okay so this is the thing that you have to uh click and apply and just click okay so live edit is a game changer for jpeg compose development in the being uh, enabling a more streamlined and efficient workflow okay uh and that's it guys but they are okay so before uh, wrapping up i will also tell you some there are some live edit limitations like jpeg compose uh it's currently uh, live edit works ex exclusively with jpeg compose uh, ui uh, development okay so it's not available for xml based layout okay it's only for jpeg compose if you are just using a uh, compose application building compl compose application then you can use Jet uh, live edit okay so it's ex exclusively it is only used for uh, jpeg compose application and this is the limitation and also the um, the, the function bo body edits like live edit supports modification within the body of a compose function it cannot handle the changes to a function names signature adding or removing functions or modifying non-functional uh, fields okay so there is also another limitation like there is an initial state reset like the first time you edit a compose function in a file live edit resets the app state to ensure a clean starting point okay so this is all about the limitation of live edit and uh, with this i would like to wrap up my tutorial and catch you up in the next lecture guys thank you